I'm Gabby Khan and welcome to my Android tutorials. In today's video, we'll be talking about a Bluetooth chat application. This application will allow two users to chat via Bluetooth. And in this video, we'll be creating the structure of our main activity. So, what we'll be needing is two menu items. One to search nearby Bluetooth devices and another to turn on our Bluetooth. We'll be needing a list to show the chat and we'll be needing a form to send messages. So, let's get started. Let's create a new project. Okay, let's call it Bluetooth Chat App. Let's hit the next button. And we're gonna keep our minimum SDK as 19. Let's hit the next button. Let's start with an empty activity. And let's call our first activity as main activity. Well, Android Studio is building our project, so let's play. Well, our project's built and we're ready to go. So let's start with the UI first. So let's close this. Coming to activity main.xml. Let's get rid of this constraint layout. Let's use a linear layout here, or let's use a relative layout. So relative layout. Okay. And let's get rid of this text view. Let's add a list view here. So with match parent, right? Let's give it an ID. So list conversation. Let's add a form at the bottom. So another relative layout with match parent, I drop content. This needs to be at the bottom. So align parent bottom. Okay, so let's add an edit text. So edit text with match parent, I drop content. Let's give it an ID. So ID, ID, enter message. Let's give it some margin at the end. So margin end say 100 dB and let's add a button. So, button with 100 dp height wrap content, and let's provide a text. And for that, we need to define a string resource. So, moving on to strings.xml. So, resources, values, and string.xml. Let's create a strings resource. Let's create a string resource here. So, string, str, label, median, send. So, let's call it send. So, coming back to our main dot xml so str label begin same okay let's check the preview let's bring it here and as you can see send is on the right hand side so let's bring it to the left hand side so align parent n which is true so it goes to the end okay and let's uh, as you can see this uh, list view is overlapping with the form so let's give some margin to list view so margin bottom say 60 dp and let's give a background to this next list view, say hash ef ef ef. So let's close this, coming back to our main activity. Now we're done with the list view and the conversation form. So what we need is the menus. So let's create a menu file now. So project, resource, right click, new, and Android resource directory. Let's call it menu. So moving to menu now, right click, new, menu resource file. So let's call it main activity. Let's hit the OK button. Let's switch to the text mode and close this. So let's add our first menu item. So item, let's give it an ID. So menu search devices. Let's give it a title. So let's add a string for that. So string str menu search devices. So let's call it search devices. And let's add another. So str menu bluetooth on okay so switch on bluetooth okay so coming back to our menu main xml so let's provide the string here so str menu search devices uh, let's add an icon so for icon we'll be needing a drawable file so let's generate one so resource right click new and vector asset let's click on this icon and let's search Bluetooth. So let's use this one, Bluetooth search. Let's just rename it and hit the next button and finish. Okay, so now our resource is available. So let's use that. So I see Bluetooth searching. Okay, let's add another to we'll switch on our Bluetooth. Again, going to resource, new, and vector asset. Let's click here, search for Bluetooth, and let's select the Bluetooth icon. Okay, let's just rename it, next, and finish. 
Again, this is available. So now let's just use that. So I see Bluetooth. Let's change the ID. So this would be menu enable Bluetooth. Okay, so let's close this. Coming back to our main activity to Java. Let's add this menu file here. So on create options menu. So get menu inflator inflate r dot menu dot menu main activity and let's pass our menu instance here so this will create our menu item now let's add some on click listeners to these menu items so on options item selected so switch item dot get item id so let's add a case so r dot id okay so coming back to our menu okay let's add the ids here and as you can see, our IDs are menu search devices and menu enable Bluetooth. So let's use them here. So, okay, so there's some probably greater sync issue. Let's just copy paste it. So menu search devices and um, return true because this function needs to return a Boolean value. Similarly for the other one, so menu enable Bluetooth, again return true. Let's add a default case and use this one here. So for now, let's generate toast here. So toast dot make text. Uh, we need a context here. So let's create one. So context, let's call it context. And let's initialize it. So context is equal to this. Okay, so coming to our toast. So context, uh, let the message be clicked search devices. And let's pass length, so then short and call it show function. Okay, let's just paste this toast here and change the message. So which is clicked enable Bluetooth. So coming back here, these need to be visible all the time. So show as action always and show as action always. So coming back to our main app computer Java, added a menu file and we've handled the on click events. So let's run our application and have a look. Okay, so there's an error, it's a missing semicolon. So let's add that and run it again. Well, our application's running, so let's have a look. Let's switch on Wiser. Well, as you can see, our application is running and we've got our uh, message form with an input field and a send button. And we've got our two menu items here. One is search devices and another is search devices. Okay, so we've made a mistake there in copy pasting. So when I click here, it says click search devices, and when I click here, it says click enable Bluetooth. And as you can see, both are looking very similar. So let's change the icons. So coming back to our menu main activity. Okay, so the title is menu search devices, and this would be menu Bluetooth on. Okay, and uh, let's just add another asset here. So coming back to resource. Right click new um, vector asset. Let's change this icon. Okay, so let's do people person add. So let's just rename it. Let's hit the next button and finish. Okay, so let's just uh, change this drawable. So I see person add. Let's run our application again and have a look. Well, application is running, so let's check it out. And now, as you can see, our icon has changed. We've got this. Uh, user icon here, so it says search devices, and Bluetooth icon here, it says switch on Bluetooth. So let's add the functionality to these menu items. So let's just minimize this and coming back to our main activity for Java. So today we're gonna work on this menu enable button functionality. So to use Bluetooth, we need to add permissions in manifest. So let's add those first. So project manifest manifest. Okay, so here, users permission, name, Bluetooth. Similarly, let's add another. So Bluetooth admin, because we'll be doing all the searching and connecting and stuff. So let's just close this and coming back to our main activity. Let's close this as well. So let's create a small function here. So private void. Okay, uh, let's add an instance of Bluetooth adapter here. So Bluetooth adapter, it uh, provides us with functionalities like uh, switching on the Bluetooth, switching off the Bluetooth, uh, getting the list of all the paired devices and a lot more. We'll get into the detail in the coming videos. Okay, so 
let's initialize it. So let's create a function here. So private void init Bluetooth. So Bluetooth adapter is equal to get default adapter. And let's check if this is not null. So Bluetooth adapter is equal to equal to null. So toast dot make text context no Bluetooth found length short and let's call the show function. Okay, so what it does is it checks if your Bluetooth adapter is null, and if it's null, that means your device doesn't have a Bluetooth hardware. Okay, so let's call it from here. I'm coming down to our enable Bluetooth. So let's just check if the Bluetooth is already enabled. So if Bluetooth adapter uh, is enabled, let's generate a toast here. So toast dot make text context Bluetooth already enabled. Let's call the show function. And if it's not enabled, then let's enable. So Bluetooth adapter dot enable. Okay. So let's just use this function here. So let's remove this. So enable Bluetooth and we're good to go. So let's run our application again. Okay. So let's click here and our Bluetooth is on. Let's click again. It says Bluetooth already enabled. So that's all for the main activity structure for today. And in the next video, we'll be working on connecting to the available devices. So if you have any doubts, any queries so far, feel free to drop a comment and we'll go through it. See you in the next video.